Welcome to ST's ecosystem booth here at Embedded World 2022, where there are lots of different pods dedicated to this very topic. And to tell me more, so much more, Thielen has joined me. Hey, Chris. Let's start at the beginning. When you say ST's ecosystem, what do you mean? Yes, so STM32 Cube or STM32 ecosystem is uh, everything developer needs besides STM32 Silicon product to be able to focus on his differentials, on his added value. So the tools, the, the libraries, the middleware, the development boards, and at the end, documentation and training material. So everything this is available through STM32 ecosystem. You know, already you've got such a kind of developed, diverse environment. So what new is coming up? Sure, so this year we are bringing up uh, STM32 developer website. Okay, so there's a, a zone on this. We are bringing the new feature in STM32 Cube Mix called CAT export feature. And last but not least, ST-Link V3 Mini E. Okay, with uh, debug probe with USB Type-C connector. Let's start with the developer zone though, because I know you're really excited about that. Sure, so STM32 developer zone is a dedicated website for STM32 engineers. So when engineer comes to this website, he feels at home, okay? He has access to all the documentation, all the tools. Uh, he quickly finds the documentation, the documents and resources that he needs to be able to autonomously develop his uh, product. And just rewinding again, let's talk about the STM32 Cube MX CAD export. Sure, so the, the new feature of STM32 Cube Mix called CAD export allows uh, hardware developers, okay, when they, the, let's say, when they select the product, to be able to export the, the product footprint and product uh, schematic diagram to their favorite uh, PCB design to software. Instead of doing everything manually, with few clicks, they can have the library exported and, let's say, reusing what they, what they have done in the Cubemix to configure the project and so, pin so out. It's a brilliant time saver, really. Though, Absolutely. It? So it's uh, really two free two, three clicks instead of maybe one hour, two hours, depends wow. on the size of the package. Yes. What about the debug thing you were telling me about? Sure, so ST-Link V3 Mini E, so this E as an extended version, uh, is, uh, let's say, a replacement of ST-Link V3, the classic one, that has now Type-C connector, which is, let's say, the, the standard coming more and more, okay? Uh, so yeah, the, we are going as well in this direction. And we're here at Embedded World, and you've got some exciting news to reveal this week, haven't you? Sure, so everything we have been discussing right now, it is going to be available on ST.com by end of this week. So the new version of STM32 CubeMX, the, the Cube ID, the Cube Programmer, it will be available by the end of this week, while the developer, uh, developer page is already live, so the customers can, can go and, let's say, access to their favorite uh, STM32 product and uh, respective one. Go to the developer zone. It's great. Tina, thanks so much. Lovely to see you. Again. Thank you, Chris.